Oh, why is this zoomed in? Hello? Ah! Hi. I need a water. Come on. One, two, three. Step, step, side, step. And let me see you do the love slide. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Audrey. I make videos about fashion, lifestyle, musical theater, beauty, you know, all the things. So if you want to follow me on here, I would really appreciate it. But I also make, you know, like comedy skits and stuff on TikTok and relatable stuff. So if you want to follow me there too and then I post fashion content on Instagram That's mainly what's on my Instagram with the occasional comedy reel Sprinkled in there, but in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my own gel X nails. I used to get acrylics Religiously like I made sure I had my appointment every two weeks But I got a little bit tired of it when the salon that I went to back at school I would always make my appointment. I would get there on time and they would always be doing somebody else's nails and then I would have to wait there for 45 minutes before I actually got sat in the chair to do my nails and me being extremely busy it started to like piss me off so I found this girl on TikTok and her name is Michelle Khan I will put her at right here but I had seen her videos before about her doing her own acrylic nails or gel X nails and I didn't know what gel X was at the time but they looked so good and when I was younger I loved to do my nails like in the summer my nail polish would come off like every single day because I was a swimmer so when I would dive in like it would just go whoop Literally, I'm not even kidding. It would just come right off. So I would do my nails basically every day And for me to sit here for a while and just like do them. It's kind of like therapeutic So if you are kind of crafty like that and you're good at doing your own nails, then you will be able to do this It's really not that hard at all. I'm not artistically inclined. So I typically just do one color just a nice baby pink or a red I attempted to do French one time uh, and I failed miserably, so haven't tried that since. I'm sure I could use like stickers and just do that. That would probably work pretty well, honestly. But you know, for right now, my one color works just fine. So I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to do gel X nails at home. I will link it all down below on my Amazon storefront and you can shop other things there as well. But yeah, it saves me a lot of money. It might've been, you know, like $150 investment at the time, but it's better than paying $60 every two weeks to get your nails done and lose three hours of your day. Now I will say it takes a long time to do these. It takes a long time, but it's, I think it's worth it because I don't mind doing it, but you'll see. So let's get started. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you everything we need. And this is my nail bin. This has everything that I need to do my nails. I used to keep all of my stuff in a literal huge Amazon box, but then I packed up from school and decided to put it in here. This used to be a bin of PR, but I emptied it and put the PR somewhere else and gave some of it away and then put all my nail stuff in here. So I'm gonna show you guys what is in this basically Mary Poppins bag of nail stuff. So first we have a UV light. You obviously need that because we are using gel. So I'm going to put her right here. Then you need obviously your nails. These are medium almond nails. I like almond shape, so that's why I do these. I don't really like super, super long nails, but these are definitely still very long for me. But you can cut them down and that's why we have a nail cutter for that. Next, I have a gooseneck UV lamp. So this is for when you're flash curing the gel and I'll show you that. You don't need one of these necessarily because when you order the nails, sometimes it comes with a UV lamp. It's a small UV lamp like this where it's harder for you to like fit your finger under it and like press the nail down, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure it would work fine, but I like the gooseneck better because you can kind of like get around it. So it clamps onto the table and yeah, you just plug it in. Next up, you need these. Well, you don't need these, but they're extremely helpful. It's just like foils with cotton on the insides. This is for removing the nails. You soak it in acetone, wrap it around your nail, and then you're good to go. Instead of having to do the cotton ball and then the tin foil over it or soaking in acetone, then you're wasting so much of your acetone. So 
these are good. Like I said, you need acetone. Then here in this bag, we have all my polishes and stuff. So this comes in like the pack of two, so you buy it together. You need nail prep dehydrator and nail primer. This dehydrates your nails so that there's not like moisture under there because if there is moisture, then it can create like fungus, so. Don't forget to use this. And then this makes the nail a little bit more tacky for the gel glue. Gel glue. So gel glue is a little bit, a lot different actually than regular nail glue. I don't know if it's better for your nails, but it seems better for your nails. Cause I feel like regular nail glue just dries the shit out of your nails. Whereas like this, if you, you know, put it on correctly and remove it correctly, your nails are actually pretty healthy underneath. But you know, I mean, I sometimes pick them off, which don't do that because you can like literally rip off part of your nail. So don't do that. Anyway, then I have top coat and my polishes. Then some other tools that I have are an electric file. So this is like what they use at the salon to file down your acrylics or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you need to use this to roughen up the nails so that they have a little bit more traction when you're gluing it to your nails. So this is really helpful. Plus it helps because I am going to file down what's on my nail currently and then soak it in the acetone. So it just makes it a little bit easier. And then we have the like acrylic nail clipper, just like that. Wow. Next up we have your nail prep tools, which are obviously these buffer blocks, which I think I'm gonna grab a new one. Yeah, I like this orange one. And then nail files. And I am by no means an expert. Like I literally still watch Michelle's videos while I do this so that I know what I'm doing. I still don't even remember the exact order of everything, so yeah. But that could also be because I am stupid, so. You just never know. <laughs> oh, and then always good to have a cuticle pusher so that you don't have your cuticles all the way up when you put on new nails. So Michelle recommends UV gloves to protect your hands from the UV rays. I think that you're supposed to do that. So I don't have those though. I didn't buy them because I was kind of confused as to why she was using them. And then somebody told me later that you can in fact get melanoma on your hands from the UV light from getting your nails done. So don't do that. Oh, you also need the cuticle pusher to push off the like gooey part of the nail once you soak off the gel to push it off. Okay. And you need like a paper towel. Another great thing to have is brushes. So for me, the only one that I really use is this small angled brush. I use it to just clean up the sides or clean up underneath if I put too much gel on. And I usually just put a little acetone in a shot glass, dip it in, tap it on a paper towel, and then, yeah. But then there's also these other ones if you wanna do designs, but they come in this box. I might have to put myself tanner on before we start this because I need it to soak in and develop because I'm trying to go out by like six and it's 117, so. Gotta get that on. But I door dashed the Bondi Sands uh, one hour one from CVS because I didn't feel like going out to get it. I would have been really devastated if I went and they didn't have it, but they did apparently, so not sure. It says my door dasher is approaching. Yeah, she'll be here in a second. I'm gonna soak off the nails then do the self tanner. So first, let me show you how we are going to get the remainder of this last set that I was wearing. So, so as you guys can see, they are disgusting. Disgusting! Like I only have a few even nubs left on there. First, we're gonna take the electric file and file down the parts that are still on my nails. So like, obviously like the polished parts and I'm gonna file those down. You gotta be careful, sometimes it gets a little hot with this. But if it's getting too hot, you can like slow down the speed of the file. Okay, so now that I have these a little bit filed down, 
these as well. We are going to soak them. I'm just going to open this up and grab four of them because I think that I only need to soak four nails. Okay, one. So I'm gonna grab my acetone and open that up a little bit. Pour just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And then, as you can see, we're going to place that on the nail, wrap it, and, and there you go. Now it is soaking on there. So I am going to leave this on for 15 minutes and then scrape it off. And now I'm going to scrape this off. So as you can see, it comes off pretty easily and then the nail is like not very damaged at all. As long as you do it right. This nail, I should have put a little more acetone on the pad because not everything is coming off. But that's okay. We got most of it. Hi guys. So the other day I decided to not continue doing my nails at that time that was on Saturday because I was going to dinner and drinks with my brother and Cami. So I didn't really have time to continue my nails. So we're continuing them today. It's Monday. I have to film a brand deal later and I wanted my nails to be done for it because it's like a little aesthetic video, you know. So we're doing them now. Obviously once I soaked the nails off and got them off, Basically, the only nail prep you have to do is pushing back the cuticles, cutting them a little bit, and what I like to do is I will, t I know this is not really great. You have to be really careful if you're going to do this. So what I did was, okay, so as you can see, my nails are like rough right now because I filed my actual nail with this, but like the lowest setting. So I just kind of like tap it a little bit. So it's similar to if you're buffing or filing the top of the nail, which you're supposed to do because it, adheres the nail better. But I like to use this, I think it makes it a lot quicker and actually helps the nail to adhere much better. Like when I don't do this, my nails will pop off within two days. But when I do this, they will stay on for weeks. So yeah, pro tip, do that, but be very careful, put it on the lowest setting and yeah. Now that they're all prepped and roughed up, we are going to go in and Start it up, so let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this hand, then this hand. So that's kind of how I start it off. So first we're going to choose the sizes for each nail and then set them aside. I pretty much know what my sizes are, but I always like to check. You never know if your cuticles are like different one day. I feel like Snow White with all these birds chirping in the background. So once you choose your nail sizes, what I'm gonna do is take the electric file and we're going to file the inside of each nail just to like roughen it up a bit. Similar to how we, you know, roughened up my own nail. It just helps to adhere, it just, oh, See, sometimes that happens and I just absolutely mess up the nail. It helps the nail to adhere better to your natural nail. So we just rough it up a little bit till it looks like that and then I place it face up so it's easier to grab. But yeah, I'm just gonna do that for every one of these nails. We got all the nails, we filed here, filed them. Now we are using our nail prep dehydrator and our nail primer. So we're going to do dehydrator on all fingers, then the primer. Once we have that on, then we're gonna go into using the nail glue and the gooseneck lamp. So let's do that. Like I said, I'm going to do one hand at a time. So I put the dehydrator on, now we're doing the primer. So 
So what I'm gonna do is we're going to take the nail glue and put it on my fingers, on all my natural nails, and then cure it for 30 seconds. So we did that. So then we're gonna take the primer and put the primer on the fake nail where you filed it. So like where it's gonna be on your nail. Then we take the glue and put it where it's gonna be on the nail. So you wanna be pretty generous with the glue because if you're not, it won't stay. But you don't wanna put like way too much because then if you put way too much, it'll spill out and be annoying. So then how you wanna put it on your nail and make sure that it's straight. And I'm going to press it to the bottom and then press down like that so all of it gets on there. And then we're going to flash cure it for like five or 10 seconds. I kind of just do it till I feel like it's on there. And there you go. The nail is now on my thumb. So now let's do the rest of my hand. Okay, so now that all of these are on my nails, we are going to cure them under the big lamp for 60 seconds. So once they are cured and on my nails, I'm going to cut them with the nail clipper. So I kind of just let it rip. I don't know, I, I'm like, yeah, that looks like the same length. Perfect, so sorry, it's really hard when they're clear, but that's what they look like now. So then I'm going to put the rest on my other hand and then we'll check back when we are just filing these down and doing the gel. And that's pretty much the rest of it. So now we're gonna to try to get these into an almond shape. What I do is usually just use the electric filer and kind of just take those hard edges off and then we'll go in with a nail file. But this is easiest to like get those hard edges off of there. Now I'm just going to file these down to the almond shape that I want. Last step before putting on gel. There's so many lights in my face. Oh dear God. Okay. So. Okay, so it is now time for me to polish these. This is what they look like now. You know, they're all buffed and everything because you have to buff the top of the nail after you get them all on and everything because that helps the gel polish to adhere to the nail better. So yeah, so I'm using this, I don't know how you would say it, a Melly gel polish. It looks like this. Let's see, yeah, it's like a lighter pink. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put Probably two coats of this and then one coat of this light white. It's not opaque at all. It's just very like see-through, but it adds just a little bit of, you know, a lighter color over top of the pink. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And with gel, you wanna make sure that you're doing thin coats because if you don't, it could, you know, like bubble up and not look so great. So, and if you are a little sloppy with your nail polish application, you can obviously get like a shot glass of some acetone and put that brush in it like I was talking about. And yeah, just do that.
you can clean it up with the brush is what I'm saying. I think that I neglected to specify what I meant by using the acetone in the brush. Then I cure every coat for 60 seconds and then when I'm fully done I'll cure it for 90 seconds but yeah so every coat that I do you do 60 Ugh, I am tired of doing my nails it takes so long but worth it <laughs> top coat on time to cure for 90 seconds and that's what the finished product looks like on my nails and I'm just gonna show you guys and that's what they look like. And that's how I do my Gel X nails at home. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it made some sense and you could kind of see, but definitely check out Michelle Kahn's TikTok because she shows a lot more close-ups if you're confused about how to apply it or how to file and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.